I'm so delighted that I can share with you this morning. The year was 1990. I had just received the call to become the Sabbath School and Children's Ministries Director of the Africa Indian Ocean Division. And all the preparations were made for me to travel to my home country, my new home country, Ivory Coast, better known as Côte d'Ivoire. On that Sabbath, prior to traveling to Ivory Coast, my friend Avril Paul called and said, Pastor Colwick Wilson was going to be preaching at the Sharon Church. And she asked me, Janice, can you come? I said, man, I'm preparing to travel to Côte d'Ivoire very soon, and I don't think so. But she did not give up. She did not even relent. She said, Janice, you must come. I must see you before you go. And I finally decided. So my friend and colleague, Dr. Wilson, picked me up and we were headed to the Bronx. You see, they were culminating a crusade and he had to preach. And so we were traveling on our way to the Bronx, minding our own business, thinking about the blessings of God, and then suddenly a jolt. And we realized that we were hit from the rear of the car and the car careened into the block on the road. We were scared. We couldn't get out of the car. We panicked for a moment, but then we remember the God that we serve. Individuals were traveling in the opposite direction and apparently they saw what happened and they came around. They exited the highway and came around. And I remember as they got to the car, they realized the doors were jammed and they got it out. One of the first things they said, you guys, Christians, aren't you? And we said yes. We were injured, but not badly injured. But that experience reminds me of Psalm 34 and verse 7. The angels of the Lord encamped around them that feared him and delivered them. Yes, the Lord delivered us this that day by providing strangers to rescue us and we thank God for his present help in times of danger. May the Lord bless you as you continue to trust him knowing that his protection is always with you.